everybody to another episode of Factorio. Right, I'm running over here because I have built, I have played around with another blueprint and I have built a functioning RoboPort. That's, that's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> I meant a functioning uh, solar panel with a RoboPort in between. Now, let me have a look at my blueprints. Uh, which one is it? This one. Look at that beast. Look how good it is. It circumference is four of those. I don't know if it's the same amount, but there's more capacitors. So um, let's let's deconstruct these bad boys and we'll watch the bots do their job. Which is like, how? Oh, not my bots. Uh, I guess they would be okay. Keep Keep going. No, not going to do anything? Uh, is my wave of robots going to do it? Yes, they are. Here we go. <laughs> you guys are just going to have to bring it back, but all right. <laughs> Yay, look at that. Okay, cool. So, are you going to just stick them all there? All right. Uh, let's go blueprints, and let's go here, and then let's plonk this bad boy down, all right? So we go there, right? And then those dudes are going to bring all those back. And then that is going to be my continuous solar farm. Uh, it's not a 1 to one to one point two ratio, but I think it's going to do. Blah, 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 blah. Love it. Love it so much. Uh, oh, shoot. Are you guys, are you guys like out of bounds for that one? Nope. Are you out of bounds? No, no, you're in, you're in bounds. Cool. Keep going. I think you guys ran out of petrol petrol batteries all right keep going keep it going and these guys are not on the grid yet uh because this is the power thing over here i should have rotated it for this side it's totally fine what i will do is we will deconstruct this one and we'll plonk another one on this side all right have we got it do you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm putting down i'm putting down some solar panels all right uh all right come on get rid of all the other ones blah 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 keep come on why are all these guys stuck there i don't i don't know i pointed at the screen too like you guys could see me uh right i'm gonna pop that there lovely now Oh, yeah, they're all buggering off. Okay, don't know why they were stuck around there. It's really weird. Okay, so these are going to be okay. So they have joined here and here and here. And whoa, I love it so much. That's so cool. And then they can plop in the robo ports. Now, I think I'm kind of overdoing it with the robo ports, right? But I think that it, I think it'll be okay. I think it will. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly plonk one here because that'll connect everybody up yep just to there sweet so that's connected to the main line now and so is this one okay lovely now and i presume these robo ports yeah they'll they'll repair stuff right here yeah it should be fine okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of those four awesome look at the wave so good so cool and then, oh, here comes the robots from this side. Look at them. They're just going to eat it all up. And they're taking it all away. Lovely. You just got to bring it all the way back, but that's fine. Okay, let's do that again. How do you like my blueprint? Pretty good. Not very good. Okay. One of the two. And we are definitely going to need uh, one of these for here. Whoops. There. And one of these for, uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, no, that's fine. It's running off this one. That's all good. Don't need one here. Ooh, you're doing a good job. Like, like seriously good job. So, uh, just so that you guys are aware of what this entails, this entails 108, uh, solar panels with 56 uh, of, of those thingies in the middle, one robot port and four of those antennas with one on the side, just to join it all together. Okay. So 
these can just stay there at the moment. I need to get rid of this. Oh, actually. Can I just put it over top and then they'll just deconstruct it? No. No. We'll just get rid of it. So deconstruct this and this and this. Perfect. And that one as well. Lovely. Perfect. Right. B. This one. Right. I said I would do. Oh, of course it's nighttime. That was dumb. Uh, there. And there. Perfect. Now let's hope taking those, uh, taking those batteries away. It's not going to cause any problems. What is my power like? 44 gigajoules. That's awesome. Oh, oh, they're still going hard. Lovely. Keep going. Keep it going. Uh, we need one here just to be as a backup in case something breaks. That's cool. And then I will sort out this over here at some stage and we'll get rid of those accumulators and all that kind of jazz. But it is working. It is going very well. And there's rover ports everywhere, probably too close together, but you can never have enough. Uh, this one here, we can get rid of you. Uh, this dude, don't know where I'm going to put him. Can we put you maybe in the center? No, no. Maybe we just, maybe we just lose one solar panel, right? So one solar panel and we just pop them there. Get rid of you. Okay, cool. Right. So today's, while I'm doing this, I'll have a chat to you guys. So today's episode, we are going to look at nuclear power and what that entails and what i mean by that is i have got uh i have been working offline to get the uranium fuel uh to make sure that it was pumping out and getting uh mined and it's just sitting there and i've, I've got a big box full of it but basically basically the i don't know what to do with it after that i know i think i need a centrifuge and i might have all the materials for that which would be cool and yeah not too sure what to do after that so we'll just we'll have a play around today and we'll make up uh, a nuclear reactor and we'll go from there but i'll just finish doing this and i just wanted to show you guys before i started slamming things down and we can go from there but i'll go and do it offline and i'll come back to you Hey guys, uh, just popping in to see if you guys haven't subscribed yet to click subscribe. If you have subscribed, chuck us a like and a comment and let us know how we go. All right, let's get back to the video. Right, we're back. So we have done this. Uh, can we zoom in? Yes, we can. Okay, so we've done this. We've got all these big ones. They're still finishing building these because I kind of ran out of power because <laughs> I started doing it at nighttime. But look at that nice grid. Isn't that nice? It's very good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this in a tiny bit down to about here and just put a plonk another one there. And there's still going to be water and stuff like that there. Oh, no. Okay. I maybe maybe use the bot too much. Okay. And oh, that's a bit, bit grainy in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So they're still fixing those, which is totally fine. Are they outside of a bot? No, they're not. They're all good. So the good thing about this is they are all linked, which is lovely. And it means that they will all look after each other if something breaks. Uh, right, let's have a look at... Um, let's have a look at here. So I did this. Didn't know that these needed sulfuric acid to mine it. So that was a fun experiment to try and get it up here. But luckily I had it here for the blue circuits, which is cool. And then see how it's pumping out all this uranium which is great, and I've put it into a storage chest. Look at this, uranium ore. It's tons of it. Tons and tons and tons, right? So I could potentially put another one here, and I could put a green one to go from there to there, and then it'll keep picking it up. Probably a good idea. Now, what we need to do, we need a centrifuge, which is this thing. So I need 100 iron gears, I need 100 advanced circuits, and I need 100 concrete. Luckily enough, I started building concrete a while back. I just put it in because I was going to put tons all over the base just to make it look nice. Uh, and But yeah, we haven't really got that far. So we need some 
uh, there, these. So we get a hundred and then I'll go and get some concrete as well. Is that enough? Yep. And we get a hundred concrete. Now, don't know what the centrifuge does. I haven't looked into it. I am always going blind with uh, these things. So, yep, you're still making rubber ports. Lovely. Uh, you're still making speed modules. Lovely. Awesome. Uh, you would have seen that in the last episode. We set that up. Now, what was I getting? Concrete. That's right. So down here. Oh, you would have seen this in the last episode as well. That was a crowning achievement of mine. Love it to pieces. Uh, right here. Look, I was making walls on one side, which is here. Lots of walls. And then concrete on the other side. Concrete. Lots of concrete. So we just need 100 concrete. Now we can make a centrifuge, right? So I'm going to make one of those. And we're going to plonk it down up here. I, I still don't know what it requires, what you need to do. You know me. I'm just going to wing it and we can just see how we go. Uh, all our all our science is backing up, which is which is cool and not cool all at the same time. Uh, I think maybe it's run out of one special uh, science. Let's have a quick look before we start the centrifuge. Uh, I think it's missing one of the key sciences to carry on. What does that need? It needs red, green, black, blue, and yellow. Red, green, black, blue, and this. So there's no there's no blue in here. So this is obviously where my problem is because there's not enough room for blue. Uh, what are we going to do? We are going to take... Okay, we'll take that many. Maybe we'll plonk them in here. And maybe we'll tell that. Do we want like a... Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Because this should be taking blue. And that's decide. Oh yeah, now it's taking blue. Sweet. Okay. And maybe we'll just go and plonk black down on all of these. Can I just plonk them in with... I can. Lovely. There we go. And now blue should be coming down here. Correct? Awesome. And we'll put that there. And that there. And that there. And now it should put blue in here. Okay? Cool. Uh, we need to take a few of these purples as well. So that it gives it enough area for yellows. We'll go there. There, 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 there. There. Oops, not enough. But, okay. Oh, crap. That took too many. Damn it. Okay, never mind. We good. We good. There, 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 there. There, there. Cool. Now, we are going to tell it to put all that back. And just get yellows. Please just get yellows. Oh, dear lord. I want you to get yellows. <laughs> yellows! Oh, you're going to do purples. I can just see it right now. <laughs> okay, so we may have to fix that. What are we going to do? We are going to put yellows out here with R. One of these. Stacker filter inserter. Never played around with those before, but we can do that. Balshaw. And we will put one of these guys here. And we will put the stacker filter, whatchamacallit, here. And we want it to just pick up yellows. So just yellows. Okay. Just yellows. And we need to give it power. So we might plonk one of those down. And then they both got power. And put yellow on here. That doesn't need yellow at the moment. Which is totally fine. And that should fix my problem there. This is doing blues, so I'm happy about that. And this has a an abundant of green and reds, so should be sweet. I think. <laughs> Sorry, cool. We sorted on that. Right, let's go and play around with the centrifuge. Do 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 do. I think I might put it up here because obviously the uranium's up here, so we can just feed off of that. Uh, do I need a robot port right there? Maybe. Okay. Let's do the centrifuge. How big is it? It's bloody small. Okay. 
and we'll just plonk it there now what does this need we are going to make what do we what do we do uranium ore to uranium 235 and 238 nuclear fuel what's that is just burnable okay uh use up uranium fuse fuel cells okay so that's right and then this is different i have no idea all right we'll just process that so this needs to obviously go hold on let's put that down again we'll get it closer to this bin maybe like that yeah why not go that right there cool and then we'll put a stacker inserter from here to here lovely now it's going to make both of those and they are going to go into a box here okay we'll just tell it to do a blue oh dear lord okay um yep cool so it's putting uranium 238 in there why is it not making uranium ah oh, okay so it's 99.3% chance to make 238 but only 0.7% chance to make 235 okay okay so then what do we do after that i need i guess i need a power plant this thing uh reactor right what are, what are you rocket silo i should build that as well uh so this is the nuclear reactor and uses uranium fuel cells to generate heat the heat output increases when built next to other reactors consistently consumes generates heat nuclear reactor all right let's go and build one of those so we need 500 advanced circuits 500 steel and 500 concrete pretty sure i should be able to do the advanced circuits let's let's see we also need to make a new suit by the way and a reactor core of some sort uh this this thing uh where is it here portable fusion recipe let's make that and then this thing here i need speed modules <laughs> right let oh did i rotate anything i pressed r oh i did why why would you do that okay cool there we go let's steal some more we need another 300 <sighs> right so i'm pretty sure one of those is going to be okay at the moment for one well we don't know until the reactor comes up so we'll build the reactor and then we'll find out okay we're good on that steel we can steal steel from up here cool and then 500 concrete and i know where that is because that's down here my robots are working hard out and i'm really happy that i've got them like i couldn't have i couldn't do a bigger base without robots you wouldn't be wanting to run everywhere that's ridiculous okay one two three four five cool so we can make one reactor do i need heat pipes and a heat exchanger i have no idea we're gonna find out <laughs> do, 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 do. let's go back up there. oh here it is let's plonk that down remember it's not temporary it's just oh crap uranium fuel cells <laughs> right so uranium fuel cells are made with this yes okay not put you down let's make another centrifuge Dear Lord. okay we got all this stuff here we can do it okay what else do we need iron gears advanced circuits more concrete okay more of this more advanced circuits now just need some concrete 
should have got more. Might just take a few because we might have to build a couple of them. <sighs> Down here, over here, there we are. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take six. Why not? Okay, we'll make another centrifuge. Because I'm guessing one centrifuge processes the ore into what I've already done. And then another centrifuge will process it into... Oh, hell, I don't know. Let's put it down. Yeah. That thing can go here. I'm in the way, apparently. There we go. And this can make... No. How... How... I'm sorry, what? How do we make... This? Oh. 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 How do I get 235? That's weird. Okay. Spent result is that. Okay, centrifuge, fine. 235. So we need we need 235. We're only getting two 38. Presuming that gets processed and the percentage goes down significantly. Plus I'm low power. <laughs> of course I am. Of course I'm low power. Bloody hell. Okay. So these guys, they're good. They're good. Okay. They're cool. You're processing that. Do we put some speed modules in you? So you process things faster? Or should I put... Hmm, interesting. Speed modules. They they bump up the the cost of power, which I'm severely lacking at the moment. Uh, but let's go speed, just to speed it up a tiny bit. And we got one of those. Okay, so we're still getting that. Uranium 238. How do you get uranium 232? That's pretty much the only way. Yes. Robot control unit. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we just need a heck of a lot of these, making them, and hopefully, we hope for the best? That is a horrible way to process that stuff. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's get rid of this and this and this and this. Perfect. We're going to put that on a conveyor belt. And it's going to curve and go down this way. Cool. And then I've got a buffer, a couple of buffer chesses. Chesses? Chests. Chests. <laughs> right. And then we have got one, two. Can we make another one? Just iron gears. Got them right here. Conveniently. Let's just get some more. Uh, we can make two. There we go. And then we shall put this dude right here. <coughs> and we need something in the middle as a buffer. There we go. We also have made those. Lovely. Two, two, right? Now, the... It'll output... To here. Which will then go into a... Storage chest. And we're just using those for now. And we are going... One, two. One, two. There we go. Okay. Going like that. So these guys are going to process the ore. Yes. Shift right click, click, click. Awesome. We're going to output into uh, this kind of storage chest. We're going to say you. All right. Now speed me up.
Cool. Alright. Then they're going fast. It's going to start outputting uranium 238. Okay. Uranium 238. That's the only thing that can go into that storage chest. Lovely. Right, I'm I'm seeing it's going to be a bloody long process if we can't get any uranium 232. Okay, should we put a beacon down? <laughs> Got a spare beacon somewhere. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, yes, that's for the fast to start module. Okay, I must have enabled that. I was doing that in a different run to have a play around with it, and I didn't. I didn't cancel it. Cool, so we go to there. Let's go and get some more speed modules. Speed modules. Can I make, I could, I could make some more of those very slow, like crafting time, six minutes to make all of those. Dangerous. Could make a big one. No, nope. we'll just put them in cheap wise. Uh, right. Put two in there. Two in there. Lovely. It's going to buff these guys. Look how fast they go now. Meow. So they're working at plus 60 percent, and I'm pretty. Mm. Plus eighty percent. Sorry, these are plus eighty percent. That's plus sixty percent. Okay, it's making it. I don't know what's this is efficiency so it decreases energy consumption uh this is machine will create extra product at the cost of increased energy and reduce speed right so if i keep these as the speed beacons yeah we're low power i understand that like this is horrible <laughs> and this got sucked out big time uh i think it's from all oh it's not too bad here we go we're coming back up now uh i really do want to get nuclear fusion in right uh you guys tell me is this the best way to process it i'm presuming this is the only way to process it and i just have to wait to see as a 0.7 percent chance that i'll get to 235 uh i should have been probably processing this ages ago but yeah, and I got a nuclear reactor somewhere. Anyway, let's have a look. So we've got this. So I presume I take out all those, right? And I put in this fusion dude. Holy crap, he is huge. Um, right. Do we put him over here? Yeah, and we put him up there. And do we put him right there? Put you in here. Put you in the corner. Put you here. You there. Sure. Is that going to work? <laughs> you here. You there. Sh sure. What does this do? <laughs> so do I need the batteries now if I have this? Provides power for equipment modules. Or is this, is this the fusion reactor max output seven, seven kilowatts? So that's charging from this. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. Okay. Uh, that's the, uh, that's my, that's my cheat one. Uh, not my cheat one, my mod that I installed. It has this and it has these drones. It's like a quick fusion. I was trying it in another save uh, to see what it was like to have robots from first go. Which is kind of hard as well as easy because I forget that I'm doing it. But anyway, uh, battery capacity is 400 millijoules. Uh, charge capacity doesn't say. 
presuming that is not charging. Uh, it's a little bit charging. Placed in equipment. Generates. Yeah, okay. Instead of these. But we could put these in here and then they would charge those quicker. Yeah. Alright, we'll just do that. Now, we do have this that I can make, but I need efficiency modules too and speed modules too. Now, I have the speed modules and they are being made. Or they have, sorry, they have been made. And I just need to sort out an efficiency module, which, by the way, I can plonk here because they use the exact same resources. So, let's go one, uh, two, and three. This needs to build this guy, which is green and red. We go across here like this and we say that one, that one, and that one, and then that one, that one, and that one, and right click, 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 put you in here, and then you out to here, right, reds. Conveniently, I have three. Great. Yep. One, two, three. Awesome. And then we are passive provider chest. And we're going to take the greens. Okay. So that is making reds, uh, sorry, blues and greens. Perfect. Let's go to that. Awesome. You're going very slow. That's all right. Just passively do it. Passively do it. Now, get rid of that one, because I don't need that many making blues. And we don't need to go that far anymore. Awesome. And don't need to go that far. Awesome. Why are you longer? Have no idea. <sighs> right. What's our next thing on the list? I think the next thing on the list will be on the next episode, uh, because this one's running a little bit long. But what we're going to do is we're going to build a Spidertron which will be very cool we need some rocket control units we also need two radars we need exoskeletons we need portable fusion reactors we need rocket launchers oh, it's and i apparently we just need a raw fish i have no idea why the raw fish but all right um let's let's head for like let's head towards getting this first so we need speed modules and efficiency modules too and we can make them out of these boxes so i'll just put a couple of well I'll just put one of these here like this and we'll just say that this well this is going to be speed module 2 and this is going to be efficiency module 2 and we need to have blues brought down here and reds brought down here robots bring them <laughs> request the chests right one there one there and we need you to request uh blues of a hundred of course they're not in there because i don't have them on the network and we need reds of about excuse me 100 as well lovely okay and then we right click and we copy onto that one so that should be the same perfect now all we need to do is put them on the network and we shall do that once we have our next episode so you guys have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is that you are doing currently while you are watching me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.